Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. In our last vlog, we had just arrived in Sardinia. Little did we know, 10 hours later, the country would go into lockdown. So what happened after we checked into the campsite? So we spent the first 14 days self-isolating. Luckily, we could rely on Mel and Armando from the Westphalia Digital Nomads to do our grocery shopping and general errands. We made ourselves comfortable in our new short-term home, but it soon became apparent we would be here for longer than we expected. The local beach, less than 100 metres away, soon became off limits. As we've been stuck behind the campsite's perimeter, Fortunately, the site is closed to the public, so it's just been us, four campers, and the two campsite managers. Fortunately for us, this campsite... Massive! So now we've had all of this time on our hands, we have tried to be as productive as possible. That's right, I would say we've probably produced over 20 new videos, that's new vlogs, recipes, all that kind of thing. We've revamped our whole blog website, so that's looking a lot better. Yeah, and I was also employed for a short time. <gasps> the first few weeks I sat in my new outdoor office and did my work. Um, but unfortunately, as Corona hit, I'd only just been employed, so I wasn't entitled to the furlough scheme. But it didn't matter because this trip was self-funded anyway, and it didn't have any impact on our finances particularly. Just a shame. Most importantly, we're now up to date with our travel vlogs. That's one thing that we have learned from you guys is that you want to be up to date and traveling with us. We understand there's not much desire from you guys to see what we got up to at Christmas in the middle of March. So we're learning, we're learning. We've also watched 20 movies on Netflix and nine series in total. So we have binged Netflix and got our money's worth. Yeah, so that's a little less productive, but bit of downtime. Because we're stationary, we don't have to move the van at all or travel here, there and everywhere. We've got even more time than usual, so we've been getting back into uh, books, audio books. I've been doing a little bit of yoga, as you may have seen on one of the previous videos. It sounds silly, really, because we have a, quite a bit of free time anyway, but we've just been able to indulge in our hobbies and just know in the back of our minds that we don't need to move the van or do anything in particular, so it's been good. Our travel pause has given us time to reflect on our nine month journey so far. It's made us realize how free and easy we had it before and how lucky we are to have this chance to travel, cementing our desire to continue traveling long term. This is a lifestyle we want to continue to live. So, I think the last nine months of van life travel has somewhat prepared us for this lockdown situation. We've been spending pretty much every waking hour together living inside that pretty confined space and it hasn't really had much of a negative effect or an effect at all on our relationship. Yeah, we were pretty much used to it. Yeah. Another thing we were used to was living with less and kind of going without. Everything that we really truly need is in that tiny home on wheels. All we've needed, as we said before, was food shopping essentially. Gas. Yeah. Everything else has been here. We've also been at a distance from our family and friends back at home for a long time. So we made sure to call them up more regularly, send them our love, try and cheer them up a little bit. And we've also been doing a Saturday night Skype quiz with our family too, which has been rather amusing and the highlight of the week. Mm -hmm. We've also found that we've got a lot more involved with the online van life community, this including a live stream with Liam the Terrible. We got involved with Pebbles and Peaches and Liam's Potato Bread Challenge and also a, a lot more interaction with you guys as well. So thank you very much for keeping us company in the comments section below and on our social media accounts too. We finally took a trip outside the confines of the campsite on week six when we went to visit the supermarket for the first time and pick up a package sent from mom in the UK. 
This morning we've had a taste of freedom. We have driven about 30 minutes to pick up this package, which was unsuccessfully delivered to the campsite. So we've been to pick it up. It was a lovely drive and uh, yeah, package from the UK. Thank you, mom. Let's see what's inside. It feels like Christmas but it's our little Easter package. So let's see what's inside. Ready? Yep. None of this is yours, it's all <laughs> mine. <laughs> so what have we got? Some very nice, are they flannels? Dish cloths? Very nice. Wonderful color, I love the color. Some, some PG Tips tea bags, <laughs> which we've just ran out of the other week. <laughs> Febreze car freshener. <laughs> what are you trying to say, mother? <laughs> Lint. <laughs> oh, she, she's gone heavy on the chalky. <laughs> More chocolate mini eggs. <laughs> Napkins. Squash. So oh, much. yes. <laughs> Brand new felt tip pens. <laughs> there was a request, but I think you might have forgotten it. This is for Armando. Close your eyes and hold your hands out. Keep them closed. Na na. Ooh. <laughs> Seems like a sauce. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's impossible to find this one in, in, in Italy and in, in Europe. I mean, it's just a British thing, but we love it. Thank you, Becky. This one will go on the barbecue tomorrow, Saturday. <laughs> Thank you. Later on, we had a package from Dad, too. So I think it's fair to say that this has been a pretty strange experience and one we won't be forgetting for a long time. And in a weird way, the time has gone very, very quick. We've been here for two whole months, but it doesn't feel like it. As much as we resent bleeding out money when we could be free wild camping, we overall feel very fortunate. We have been blessed with feeling safe, secure, and we have everything we need. At times we have felt in our own little bubble. Having the space to roam and walk about the large campsite. And having company with the Westfalia digital nomads and their dogs. We had weekly Saturday barbecues and did a few video collaborations. As of the 4th of May, restrictions were relaxed. But the new rules don't really change very much for us. Although we're now allowed on the local beach. We hope you are well and that your nearest and dearest are safe too. And we want to thank you for continuing to watch our videos and giving us lots of support, which we really appreciate it. And we hope we've paid you back in some form, maybe a bit of entertainment or maybe inspired your future travel plans. Yes, we're under no illusion that the world may be a slightly different place when we all come out of lockdown. But we're optimistic that we can return to some form of normality. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Keep safe, everyone. Three, two, one. So we spent the first 14 days self-idling. <laughs> Three. Isling. Three, two, one. Forget. Three, two, one. So I think it's fair to say this has been a... So I think it's fair to say that... It... Slowly. So I think it's fair to say this has been a rather... So I think it's... Uh... <laughs> Was that roughly right? Three, two, one. We finally, we finally took a trip outside of the con. Help me with my English. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to escape. <laughs> Three, two, one. Fucking prickly. Tell me that for nothing. 
I have to have a rest tomorrow. I don't know if I can do another day of this.